Hi everyone, I'm Aid from Proactive and today I'm going to show you how to use the InstaShare app. This is the app where you can connect your tablet or Chromebook to the board and show things on the tablet that show on the board. So, step number one, turn your screen on. Once the screen's on and up and running, you need to be on the Android. This is the Android side. If it's not on the Android, then you need to press the home button on the front of the screen and it will take you to the Android. You're then looking for these four little squares. Tap on the four little squares and then you're looking for this icon here and it says InstaShare. If you can't find this, if you scroll down and it's not there, then you need to go to BenQ and then click on the briefcase. InstaShare will be in there and we basically need to download this app. So tap on it and then you will follow the online instructions. Obviously this one's been downloaded already so I'll close it. Go back to the home screen by pressing the home button and now repeat the process. Go back into the apps and it should now be there after it's downloaded. Click on the InstaShare app and you'll see this information. Step two. If you look down the bottom, these are all the different devices that you're able to connect to the board. I'm going to connect my iPad so I can tap on this and it brings up this information. Step three. Click on InstaShare 2 app. And then if you want, you can click here, install apps, and it will give you a QR code. If you then to use your iPad or your phone and go into photo, the QR code will download the app for you. Step four, if you click on next, it gives you the instructions here. So firstly, your tablet needs to be on the same Wi-Fi as the screen is. Step five, open your tablet and click on the InstaShare 2 app. It's now asking you for a pairing code and the pairing code is on the board on step number two. So once you've entered the pairing code, click on connect and now you're into the Insta2 Share app. We're now gonna choose this and then we're gonna turn the iPad round and place it on the table. Once the tablet is connected, you need to go to each tablet and click on the hand and the writing. Then click on the three dots and assign to the host. So now if I click on this to minimize it and get rid of the instructions, I'm now gonna go into EasyWrite. Now going back to people that are using the iPad, in the top right if you click the little hand and now you will be able to select tools that are displayed on the iPad. Now by using the icons at the bottom, if I click on the pen, I can choose the colour of the pen and then I can write as I draw on my iPad it can be seen on the board. Likewise, if anyone at the screen selects the pen and a colour and writes on the board, people on their iPads will be able to see what is being written on the board. At the end of the session, you can share everything that you have done on the whiteboard by clicking on this little icon here. Then click on the QR code. You can choose to save it as a PDF or as separate pictures. I'm going to leave it as a PDF. Then click on Share. Students can now take a picture of the QR code and everything that has been completed on the board will now be sent directly to their device. And that's how you use the InstaShare app. There are a couple of other features but we can go through that with you in training. Thanks for watching.